Good morning, everyone. It's 8.06 a.m. Central Daylight Time here in Cypress, Texas. We're looking at the two new images of Comet Ison I took this morning from New Mexico skies in New Mexico T11. Plane wave. Wonderful telescopes. Here over here is the one of the last images I took on uh, Halloween morning, 10.31, so about a week later. And we're going to get a look at these, and we'll get a look at uh, a blink. Let's go ahead and do that. I only took two, well, I was only able to take two images this morning, two new images, um, because telescope time is um, scarce. We have a lot of activity going on for as far as comets, and a lot of astronomers want to be able to take images and uh, do astrophotography on the comets. And my blink isn't working right. So let me stop. I'm not going to take too long here. This might work, it might not work. It's not working. Well, so anyways let's zoom in let's just Look at the two images that I took this morning. Here's the first one. coming in this close for a reason of course we see this object here but I'm going to I'm for sure that all all this is is that the comet was occulting this star the star is going to be part of the background um, I wanted to uh, show it because the images are definitely showing it.
Okay, so I should talk before we get done here. Um, my interpretation is that this comet is showing very good properties and it's um, brightening, in my opinion, creating a tail, might have an ion tail. We have people out there saying all sorts of things from the extreme, oh my God, to to somewhat respectable or respected people who say that this is a comet like they've never seen in all their 50 years of comet hunting. I am going to uh, maintain my stance. This is a 333 year comet. If, you've, if you're not 333 years old, you probably ain't seen one like this before. Um, this is, this is where I'm going with my observations. Um, I know now that there are other comets in the area, Comet Anki, Comet Linear. Um, I'm not um, motivated to take pictures of those comets for some reason, so I'm just going to stick with ISON and, and show you what you got. I'm still having an issue of centering the telescope, uh, centering my 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 um, target in the center of my picture there's the whole picture I'm almost I'm close but I'm still not happy that I don't get a good whole long tail but um, I'm gonna take what I can get and like it um, what I should do is try to do the uh, blink again and let's see if we can do that Maybe we'll be able to get it to work. Cross our fingers. Um, so, Comet Ison is, in my opinion, doing fine. No breakup. Oh, in this image, you see the comet occulting the star. The star appears to be hatched from the comet. Um, but, uh, no. Uh, no. I saw a video yesterday. Uh, they wanted to say that Comet Ison got hit by a... By a an asteroid. Oh my gosh, that's just where are we going, people? With that, I don't know where we're going. I suppose I should leave it there because that's probably the best we can get. Comet Ison is a nice um, comet, in my opinion. A very good uh, astronomical target. I believe there's enough uh, in this comet to make it around the sun. We're getting very close now. Uh, 21 days, three weeks away. This comet is brightening. It is producing a tail. I don't know what people want or expect from it, but I am looking forward to the northern hemisphere getting a a view of Comet uh, Ison with or without equipment. Right now, no. And right now the Comet is heading toward the horizon. And each night as the early morning sun rises, uh, this Comet gets closer to it. You can see right here in the 10 minutes, these two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. These two images took 10 minutes to take, and it has traveled 
a distance and so you can add those all together every day this comet is moving quickly toward the sun these images that I take early in the morning uh, will won't we won't have an opportunity to take anymore <clears throat> these are the last shots before it gets too close to the sun and we have to wait for it to come out the other side in early December now for anyone who's watching this the third shot of just the blank star field there's nothing hokey about that there is a shot of the Halloween comet but it's just not centered in the frame these two frames are the action frames one two one two one two one two and one two there it comes a star one two there comes a star one two you can see how it comes you know it just stays in the with the rest of the star field so oh yesterday yeah I already spoke about it saw the video someone how do you create a video with an object hitting the ice on it was cool it was cool was I fooled? Was I fooled? Hell no. I'm not going to be fooled. That's why we do this. Very interesting. Um, what about the tail? What about crossing Earth's orbit? We all knew it was going to happen. Uh, when Earth gets to that spot in six months, uh, it'll be getting a bath in particles moving toward the sun and particles moving away from the sun um, a great meteor shower uh, excellent can we expect one now every year for many years on those dates when will comet uh, Ison come closest to earth uh, 63 million miles away from earth is a long way uh, just about two thirds of the way to uh, the sun. Let me see if I stop this. What kind of value we can get out of? What kind of value we can get out of viewing everything? I know you all find this one probably pretty in interesting. 1306 so I'm going to get a couple a couple of uh, looks I hope you all have a good day. Um, these images were brought to you by Francis Walsh, your favorite amateur astronomer. And with the help of itelescope.net, we are able to um, image these great comets. And without uh, some of the tools that we have, we would be unable to. Uh, some of the tools available. Uh, at our disposal so thanks to everyone who makes it happen thanks to everyone who watches who's interested in these things um, this isn't uh, doomsday this is um, astronomy day every time uh, we get images and it's 14 minutes and 50 seconds so I'm gonna be getting out of here this is probably the most interesting image that I got out of two uh, we saw the blip the, the motion I'll see you later